everybody. My name is Jeremy. I also go by Jay Grind, which is a band nickname given to me over the last year or so because of the bands I'm in. Um, I'm a drummer from Maine. The bands I play in are Taxi Cab Dismemberment and Where They Hide. Uh, both bands are out of Maine, uh, members from New Hampshire and Maine uh, in each band. And I've been playing drums for about 14 years. Um, I started in 2006 when a friend of mine had a uh, drum set collecting dust in the basement and his dad decided to give it to me just to get rid of it and you know one thing led to another and here I am playing drums <laughs> still going at it and uh, yeah as for the collision drumsticks the the brands I use are the five A's but I switch between two different brands I use the five ARs as seen here uh, while playing uh, taxi cab dismemberment songs and then I do the five A's here for where they hide. The reason for that is because the five ARs have more reach, you know, hence the name, and that helps with blast beats uh, for me anyway. Uh, the extra reach gives me more control at higher speeds to blast on my ride and then go from a blast on my ride and my snare to a roll or to some kind of chop of some sort. Um, and it also helps tremendously with maintaining control for gravity blasts. Um, my guess for that is because um, of the length, the, the vulcrum of the stick is uh, more centered maybe and the weight's more distributed evenly. Uh, I mean, I'm not really sure. I don't know the science on it. All I know is it's easier to do gravity blasts. Uh, well, it's not easier. It's easier to control at higher speeds. And for the five A's, I use the five A's and where they hide because where they hide as a whole is a lot less continuous playing on the drums. Um, there's a lot less long periods of full blasting. Um, there's a lot less overall technicality at high speeds. There's a lot more groove and there's a lot more aggressive heaviness and I play the five sticks normally, the five, five A sticks normally, sorry. And so, you know, it just makes sense to use those. I, I love the feel for both the sticks. It's smooth, but it feels comfortable. Um, a lot of other st sticks that I have noticed that I've used in the past, if they have like a like a smoky or, or soft feel to them, it's almost too slippery. Uh, it's hard to control, hard to maintain um, holding for. Uh, I try my best to utilize the molar technique with a lot of my playing, and you know, being it's a whip, being a whipping motion. Um, sometimes the stick slips, it throws your whole balance off. But these though, uh, they're soft, comfortable and smooth at the same time, if that makes any sense. Uh, I've used sticks in the past that had like a really hardwood feeling and it just wasn't very comfortable. Um, and then the same thing, the, the softer, almost like chalky feeling, doesn't really work much for me as well for comfortability. Durability though, for sure, is my favorite and probably what I love most about these sticks. I've been using the 5A reaches uh, with tax cap songs over the last like three or four days, about two hours a night. Um, and it, that and just messing around with warm ups and stuff like that. So, you know, like 10, 15 hours maybe. And they, like, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's some like black uh, marks. And that's only because of the finishes from the cell tone symbols. Uh, but there's barely, barely anything on these. Um, and I don't have another stick near me, but any other stick after a couple hours would be, you know, torn apart, shredded, uh, because of how much I play. I don't, I'm not a hard hitter, but I play a lot of, you know, fast stuff. So it tends to do a lot of wear and tear on the sticks. And just seeing how little wear and tear has already been done to the reaches, I'm like very, very, very happy with that. And it's awesome. Because, um, you know, they'll last longer, which is good for everybody uh, in that regard. Uh, outside of the brand, uh, for the sticks themselves, just Collision Drumsticks as a company, in my experience so far, have been amazing. Uh, they've been very straightforward, uh, very, I guess, honest. I, I, I almost want to say using the word honest seems weird, but 
it's true. I mean, they're very direct. There we go. That'd be a better word than honest. Uh, they're very direct, very comfortable, uh, very good communication. Um, and they're always awesome. You know, they're all about the community. They're all about the artist. And, you know, that's, that's good for us drummers. And that's good for everybody else who wants drumsticks. It's good for them. Um, it's good for everybody at a whole, really. So with that being said, after this, uh, there will be a drum, drum playthrough video of a song by one of my band's Taxi Cab Dismemberment. It's called They Found Him in a Fast Food Dumpster. There's no vocals. Uh, there's only live drums. There are no recorded drums on the track. But I luckily managed to record using my phone and using a, um, an HD 60 FPS camera for my, for my footwork. Um, enough to capture the audio where it, you can hear it. I mean, it's not studio, but the guitars are. Uh, the guitars are performed by one of my best friends, Robert Skibicki. The guitars were recorded, mixed, and mastered in Iron Hill Studios by Aaron Hill in New Hampshire. And yeah, so stick around. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, just let me know what you think. And there's definitely more to come, that's for sure. And thanks for hanging out. And thank you, Collision Drumsticks, for this opportunity. I mean, it's amazing. It, I, I, I do what I do now. I just fumble on words because of <laughs> how happy I am about it. So, yeah. Um, thank you all. And I'll see you next time.